When Abram was ninety-nine years old, the Lord appeared to him, saying, I am God Almighty. Live in my presence and be blameless. I will set up my covenant between me and you, and I will multiply you greatly. Then Abram fell face down, and God spoke with him. As for me, here is my covenant with you. You will become the father of many nations. Your name will no longer be Abram. Your name will be Abraham, for I will make you the father of many nations. I will make you extremely fruitful and will make nations and kings come from you. I will confirm my covenant that is between me and you and your future offspring throughout their generations. It is a permanent covenant to be your God and the God of your offspring after you. God said to Abraham, As for your wife Sarai, do not call her Sarai, for Sarah will be her name. I will bless her. Indeed, I will give you a son by her. I will bless her and she will produce nations. Kings of peoples will come from her. Your wife Sarah will bear you a son, and you will name him Isaac. I will confirm my covenant with him as a permanent covenant for his future offspring. God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you so that you become an assembly of peoples. May God give you and your offspring the blessing of Abraham. Your name will no longer be Jacob. It will be Israel because you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. I will give you and your offspring the land on which you are lying. Your offspring will be like the dust of the earth, and you will spread out toward the west, the east, the north, and the south. All the peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring.
Naphtali enjoying approval, full of the Lord's blessing. Take possession to the west and the south. Dan, why did you linger at the ships? Asher remained at the seashore and stayed in his harbors. designate a place for my people Israel and plant them, so that they may live there and not be disturbed again. In days to come, Jacob will take root. Israel will blossom and bloom and fill the whole world with fruit. <laughs> 